Well, it is the beginning of the long Memorial Day weekend, a time to remember and to relax a little bit. That's Louie and Oliver's plans, but before they go, the new sounds wrap up the week with the top animal stories of the week. Here's the News Hounds, Louie and Oliver, with their World News Roundup. This week on the News Hounds, hello, neighbor. It's lunchtime. And one hump or two. But first, a remarkable story of survival. These two foals are from an endangered breed of horse that went extinct in the wild. The Shavalsky horse shares a common ancestry with modern horses, but the two lines split around 160,000 years ago. The breed was classified as extinct in the wild until horses bred at the Whipsnade Zoo in the UK were successfully reintroduced to Mongolia as part of a collaborative conservation project. These two foals, the male born in April, the female born in May, share 600 acres of conservation meadows at the zoo just north of London. They're still finding their feet and sticking close to their moms. Two more horses from a breed brought back from extinction. Speaking of new additions, it's a girl. The Milwaukee County Zoo welcomed this newborn Bactrin camel calf. The one is healthy, weighed about 88 pounds at her first exam. She's bonding well with her mother, AJ, and getting to know her father, Stan, through a mesh fence. The two adults have three male offspring, but this is their first girl. She's now on display at the Milwaukee Zoo, so Louie and Oliver are thinking, road trip. How about a little lunch? Island, Holy, and Gizmo are ring-tailed lemurs who call the Oregon Zoo in Portland home. The trio were recently caught on camera snacking on some fresh camellia blossoms at the zoo. The flowers are grown on the zoo ground, so they're as fresh as can be. Talk about flower power. And finally, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Time to check out the new neighbors. Zookeepers at the Sacramento Zoo recently moved their desert tortoises to a new enclosure right next to the zoo's five meerkats. For Keimer, the tortoise is 95 years old and wasted no time checking out his new neighbors and vice versa. For Keimer and his tortoise friend, Anasazi, will enjoy alternating time in the renovated habitat next to the meerkats. We're not sure what's going through the tortoise's mind, but we'd like to think it'd be something like, hey, you cats, get out of my yard. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds Now Update.